Hello. So, let's get started, shall we? Uh, I'm Nicky News. Welcome back to, uh, Dark Cloud 2. This will be part 5. Try something a little bit different this time. Um, I noticed the volume from the TV was feeding back to my microphone, so I turned the TV way down. Um, and I create a rudimentary, like, sound shield for my microphone. So hopefully it can only hear me. Hopefully. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a 20 minute episode, and then I'm going to be saying farewell, rather than doing a huge chunk that's like several hours long. But if this doesn't work out, then I'll go back to doing huge chunks. Um, so, what the hell did we do last time? Uh, we got the ride pod upgraded to what it needs to be. So I believe what we're supposed to do here is head back to and talk to Cedric. Thank you. Yep. You all set? Okay. Okay, let's go! All right. Time to saddle up and head out. Yes, yeah, except this time he's not coming with. We're going on our own. This door leads to the underground waterway. You'll be heading out on your own, son. I'm gonna see if I can't get something out of need. Remember, Loud and clear. Keep your guard up. Leave it to me. I love how we have cowboy boots spurs on the back of our feet. Or on the right part of the head. Anyway, so this will take us right back to where we were before. And if you remember, where we were before was versus a giant elephant that we couldn't hurt with our wrench or gun. So, yeah. That's where the ride pod came in. After Cedric deuced him up, man. Cedric deuced him up. But we're not good, as good with the ride pod as Cedric is. Cedric's like a baller. And we're not. Although we can't do that now. So we can never do that ever again. Ever. Nowhere. Ever. Also, Flotsam brought the elephant huh? back to life. Yeah. Right After there. After such a huge cut. Or her up. And that's Flotsam. <laughs> I bet you were thrilled when you thought you were alone here. Too bad. So sad. <laughs> Tear them to pieces, my Your little ass, Linda. Flotsam. So, uh, one thing I wanted to mention is, uh, as you can tell from the name of this game, uh, the name of the game is Dark Cloud as in a second sequel. Um, I do not have the first game, nor do I know where you can buy the first game. Uh, so if you want to see the first game, I'm actually, there, someone I subscribed to recently is actually doing a playthrough of it on their channel, and I will actually post the link to part one of the Dark Cloud 1 on their channel. Take that! Oh, you little brat! Channel. I won't forget this! Eat it, kick the elephant's ass. The outside world. Right then, my heart was filled with expectation, wondering what kind of places I would find. I had no idea that the incredible adventure I was about to begin was beyond anything that I could have imagined. So, alright, you can use the right pod with the right pod command under the character on the main menu. If you want to get off, choose max under character. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Basically, what they were just explaining there is, uh, go from here, and you can choose the right pod or max. Now, an easier way to do that from the game is just hit R3, and it'll take you back to max. If you're on max, hit R3, it'll take you to the right pod. So, yeah. And if you don't know, R3, at least on, on uh, PS2 controller, wow, mine right there for a second, is just tapping the, uh, the control stick on the right down. Um, so where were we? Oh, we got the drill wrench last time. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, let's see. We need to get out of here. I believe it's this one. It makes sense, because it's a freaking door. But yeah, if you want to see that, uh, let's play, uh, the person who's doing it, she's doing, uh, uh, some older games as well, uh, kind of like what I'm doing, uh, except her games are way older, uh, she's pl like, her one of her first ones was Spyro, and it's amazing, I guarantee you should go play it, you should go watch that, it's amazing. Oh, 
cutscene. Hey, Cedric! All right, Mead. What exactly are you hiding from me? Tell me everything you know. Yeah, I see. So you realize too, have you? Damn. But sometimes oh, it's I better not to know. This entire game, I'm not sure. <laughs> Why are you hiding things from me? I thought we were friends, Need. What's going on? Spit it out, will ya? Okay, okay. I can't go on hiding it anymore. I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you what's going on here in this town, in this world. Dun, dun, dun. And of course, we don't get to hear that. Nope. Cedric gets to hear it, but we don't. Fat face. But, if you, um... Also, one thing is kind of funny is, uh... In the first episode of Her Dark Cloud 1 walkthrough, uh, she... The other person, she managed to get through all of the intro cutscenes, pretty much. In 23 minutes. In this game, it takes roughly an hour to get through all the intro cutscenes. And to get into the meat and potatoes of the game. So, yeah. Steve's Battle Floor Episode. Uh, that introduces uh, different things. Um, basically, every level has a theme. Oh my god, the, the X is right there. Uh, every level has a theme to it, and uh, the name is the obvious th um, hint at it. And... Oh. Uh, oh, I missed. Come back here. Yeah, go down. Eat it, you evil, evil Night Stalker. Anyway, so, if Steve is a giant robot of death, obviously he would decimate things that Max would would normally take a couple hits to kill in, like, one hit. And that's true, for the most part. But uh, this all, this level introduces uh, new things, which are uh, these guys. I'll show you real quick about them. Uh, as you see, he actually has a piercing attack, and he went right through my guard. My gun does one damage against him, and he does this, which is really annoying. Uh... Again, uh, my wrench is eight hits. Yeah, fight machines with a machine. And the game just told you that. Uh, if you don't have some, if if let's say Steve is out of uh, commission, uh, I actually don't have it on me, so never mind. Uh, but if Steve is out of commission, because uh, Steve can get injured, also he can guard just the same as uh, Max. And uh, he's a lot more mobile than these idiots, and he can take him down in three hits. Um. But the thing is, when you use Steve, uh, unlike Max, whose health only goes down when he's hit, Steve's health goes down whenever he's being used. As you saw, I just ticked from 75 to 74. So it's obviously not a good thing to use him, since he's slower than Max. I'm trying to level up my gun here, so I'm trying to use the gun more often. Um, oh wait, there's something else down here. Although it looks like a dead end. Yeah, it is a dead end. Damn it. Stupid map. It lied to me. I like to keep the map right here so I can so I can actually see what I'm doing. It doesn't really interfere with playing the game at all. The map, honestly, I think I think it's a little bit better than. Oh yeah, uh, this introduces locked chests. I don't know if we had one of these before. Um, you can either force them open or use a key to open it. If you use a key, well, you use a key and there's no consequences at all. But if you force it open, bad shit happens. Uh, it was a poison trap, so I got poisoned. Uh, if it was another... Oh, yeah, that's nice. I got a wrench. Yay. Uh, poison, uh, it'll knock out a huge chunk of your health. Um, otherwise, you could just instantly open up your inventory and cure it uh, without taking any damage from it. So it takes out a huge chunk of your health when you get poisoned. Um, what else? Uh, other status ailments that the chest can inflict, uh, it could be a weapon destroying trap, so it damages your weapons, and I mean like severely damages your weapons, uh, based on how strong your weapons actually are, and oh, there's another one of these guys, alright, bringing out the ride pod, okay, I got stuck on the wall, that's not cool, so, uh, unlike Max, and uh, unlike Max, I wasn't about to say anything else, you can just ignore that, unlike Max, uh, he, the ride pod can move while he attacks, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and it makes him a far greater combatant than Max is. There's actually another one of these guys in here. So yeah, the name of this ep the episode, or floor, is uh, Steve's Battle, which tells you that you're going to be using Steve a lot. So, there you go. 
Oh, and Max can pick up chests, or these boxes, to throw them. And with the ride pod, if you guard and stand next to them and press X, I think, square, circle. Just X in general. Yeah, just X. Without guarding, it'll he'll just kick them and break them. Okay, that introduced something new. Ride pod fuel. It's something you can get out of those boxes. Once you get the ride pod, you can get it. Uh, which is why I always say break the boxes, especially early on. Uh, ride pod fuel is like bread, but for the ride pod. Because obviously the ride pod can't eat bread. Uh, oh shit, okay, this introduces uh, mimics. Which, uh, this is why you always open a chest from behind. Because uh, these bastards are very strong, and you need as many chances to kill them as possible. If you open the chest from behind, and it's a mimic, he'll be facing the opposite direction, so he'll have to turn around before he can actually hit you. And, uh, it's just very advantageous. Um, I don't know if we've seen this yet. This is a well. Uh, they appear in all dungeons in the game. Not every level, but every dungeon in the game has one of these. Uh, and if you walk into it, it heals you. And it heals, I think, poison, but I'm not sure if it does actually or not. But it heals you once for every, like, five minutes or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what that number is. But it's, it's a fairly long amount of time, so you can't just stand in it and fight. Uh, that'd be very ineffective. You would probably die if you're counting on it to heal you. So always open up chests from behind, eat no matter what. Uh, unless you have someone that we'll get into later, a, a little buff that you get. We'll get into that later. And as you can see, we just got a magic crystal on the map, so now we can see everything in the area. We can also see that we went totally in the wrong direction. We need to go this way to get back to the beginning so we can turn that way and go finish off the rest of this area. Because I don't think I've gotten the gate key yet, otherwise I could just leave. But even then, I we, at this lower level, we need the experience of killing shit. So, always a good idea to kill things. And collect treasure. Collecting treasure is always a good thing. But like I said, some treasure is evil. It's like the mimic, so always open it from behind. And you can tell what's behind, because there'll be a golden symbol on the... Oh, shit, he actually guarded... Uh, that's one thing Mimics can do that most other enemies can't, uh, is actually guard your attacks. Uh, some enemies can, most can't. Uh, like wild beasts usually can't actually guard from you. Um. Oh, spin attack. Ah, I got hit by that. And so, you know, now you can see our weapon's blinking, so we need to repair it. And there you go. Simple as that. Um, like, here you can see the front of the chest has that gold design on it. The back of the chest looks like nothing. It looks like just a straight-up just wood chest. And we found bread. Yay. So, and every single chest in the game follows that basic design, so make sure you keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just going to turn the little map on just so I know where I'm slightly going. Oh, God, another one? Jeebus. Come on. Let's deuce it up. Deuce it up. Just basically, just for those guys at this level, just run behind them and bash on them. Uh, you can keep moving. That also, Steve can open chests as well. Uh, but you can't be moving. Just like normal. And you can also guard with Steve. Uh, he's very he's very effective in all forms of combat. For example, he's not fighting a machine. He basically one shots everything. <laughs> Uh, even flying creatures, although he does have problems with flying creatures because he is melee, so. Also, he has way higher defense than Max most of the time, so he will take less damage than normal. But if you guard, he has such a high guard that it's almost impossible to break it. Uh, it would take something like a boss to actually break his guard. Um, but also, uh, there are different, um, we'll get into, into customizing Steve a little bit later. Uh, once you defeat all monsters in the level and get that screen, all monsters defeated, you can open up any chest no matter what. Um, if you kill all monsters on the thing and you have the magic crystal so you can tell there's no monsters left but only chests, and that screen doesn't appear, that means at least one of the chests is a mimic. Uh, it's pretty simple, and uh, you, a lot of people, they like, some people, I've heard strategies go through the entire level without opening a single chest. I personally find it's better to just open it from behind. That way, if it is something evil, you can kill it. Uh, yes. Actually, no. Do not be the next door. I need to check our items. Also, I need to check our items. 15 minutes. Damn, 15 minutes already? 
feels like no time at all has gone by. Um, that needs to be built up. That needs to be built up. Okay, so you can go here to check it, and that is attack. So you can specialize a power crystal, which I think that's the first thing we've got in it. It just makes attack. Normal crystals need three of whatever sad it is. Power crystals need two attack, which is pretty much the highest deck you ever can get out of them. So, yeah. Uh, attack, flame, lightning, smash, and scale. We'll give you... What did you need again? Jeebus. Smash, scale, lightning, and flame. I don't think I have any... Well, I can specialize these scale crystals. Or sea dragon crystals, I'm sorry. They give you flame. Oh my god, I cannot believe one level took us 15 minutes. Yeah, see, now we have enough scale. Now we just need smash, lightning, and flame. Which we don't have any of. Although I could spectrumize this log. Uh, which gives you smash. Because if you hit something with a log, it's going to be smash damage. It's not going to be flaming damage. Well, unless it's on fire. Mm. And it's not going to be something like that. So you can get a little bit of boost by doing that. But crystals are the way to go. You get more from the crystals. So actually, instead of recording for the full 20 minutes, I think I'm going to I'm gonna stop the recording here at 16 minutes, 30 seconds. And I'll see where I go from there. Alright, goodbye.